For the first time in history, black people ain't making none of the killer drugs. What? Look at white people. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. They did a study. There is zero percent of niggas <laughs> making fentanyl. Zero point zero zero and a zero to be specific percent. Look at white people. Uh -uh. I said, what you gotta do with fentanyl to die from it? They said. <laughs> niggas ain't making that, I can tell you that. Niggas make a lot of shit, niggas ain't making that. I'm not to y'all, but that was a comedian's version of hell right there. But it's a new day. And we don't know if we're going to make it through the circumstances we're being faced with. But if it doesn't fit, it ain't shit. And things in this world are starting to not fit. Right now, we have a perfectly suitable clown running the free world. We got a guy whose advice included things that no decent crackhead would tell you to do with a gunshot wound. The man said, if you have bleach, rub it on yourself. Sprinkle something in your eye. If you see any UV lighting, walk in front of it. But these are serious times. President's a clown. Who gonna say something that makes sense? As for me and my household, I will. If you need me to say something dumb real slow so you can get it, I'll do that. Watch how it goes. Gravity is real. Huh, wasn't that simple? You notice how people didn't start hollering? Well, uh, well, bananas matter too. Nope, not the time for that. Let's stick on facts. Black lives matter, period. You can say it, you at home, say it. Wherever you are, no matter who's around, just say it. Say it because it's a fact. I want to apologize if some people have seen civil unrest and didn't understand that civil unrest is what happens every time a place is ruled by the people and the people's needs are not being met. Might not be the happy truth you want, but we deserve the truth. Even one of the greatest cities in the world, New York, a place that's got 100,000 magnificent landmarks. Even they have deep, dark secrets. They got an island in New York called Heart Island. It's where the unclaimed dead bodies go. Now, you think I'm talking about in the past, don't you? No, 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 no. Today. That's what this island is for, is for death and despair. They got mental institutions and all type of things. I ain't never been there. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying, some of y'all thought you only had two choices just like this election. You thought your choices was heaven or hell. No, you got another choice, Hard Island, baby. Purgatory, limbo. It's where you go and ain't nobody claiming you. You just died and everybody said, you know what would save a funeral? And while that... Might be unpleasant for some. It's the truth. This is not the first time a great city like New York has been going through this, and this is not the first time that a great country like this has been going through what we're going through. This is not close to the first pandemic. The last pandemic happened in the 90s. It was called AIDS. That's what filled up Heart Island last time, and here we are again. It's the airborne virus, folks. If you breathe air, put on a mask. And because we can all agree that breathing is important, we can all agree that you putting your knee on a man's neck for eight minutes is just murder, just televised murder. So now there must be a reaction for that. I'm not going to hide in a bunker. I'm on the front line with you. For 20 years, I told you, the police is out there hurting people. And y'all didn't want to believe me. Y'all just said, can't keep getting in trouble. 
And the whole time, I was just glad I made it out alive. And finally, the chickens have come to roost. We are going to get rid of racism this time, once and for all, no matter what has to happen, folks. It only must be identified and then worked on. I have no right to tell people to vote, but I will tell you that even if your choices were as dumb as hickory, dickory, and dark, even if those were your only choices, I would ask you to make a choice. And if you can't make a choice, go on and put my name on there. It ain't going to count for nothing considering current legal situations I may or may not find myself in. But I appreciate your vote. It's time to make changes, folks. You can make them there at your own home. Thank you all. Have a good day. Be kind to your neighbors. If you see a sign that says Black Lives Matter, say out loud, white friends. Hmm. Sure do. Watch how quickly things start to change in the country. White people, if you're scared about Negroes, I'd like to remind you of something. That anger and that rage that you think will one day be unleashed upon white families. You've been waiting on it for 400 years. We're better people than that. I know what you heard. Thugs, animals, monsters. Nope, better people than that. Not only can we do better, we want to do better. We are doing better. And you're free to join us. Anyway, it's been a pleasure to be here. Uh, I kept most of the jokes in quarantine in case you were looking for some laughs. If you got some information out of it, I appreciate that. I have already done more than an elected official. I think it's, yeah, unfortunately, you know, apathy becomes a, you know, a symptom of people who have something for a long time. You don't appreciate it until it's gone. Right, right. You know? And yeah. so in South Africa. That's what people are saying about Obama. I know. Like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bring Bring it back. Like, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 take, I take seven months of Bush right now. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anything. <laughs> yeah. And so, and so if you think about it, when you, when you, when you're in a world where you've always had the right to vote. <laughs> right. You know, yes. that's, that's why yeah. if you, if you look in America, if you look specifically Black women have some of the highest voting rates. They do not mess around when it comes to voting. You know, they don't take it for granted. Black old women are some of the most ardent voters because they remember when they couldn't right. vote. Right. They know what it was like to not have an option to choose. And so I know when people say they go like, oh, what's the point? You're choosing between nothing and nothing. Right. I go think of it like this. Think of politics like your drive home. Right, your your GPS gives you two options. It says you can go this way, you can go that way. Are you going to be the person who says, "Well, what's the point? There's traffic on both routes." <laughs> right. like, right. Well, one or two things are going to happen. You're not going to go anywhere, or someone's going to choose the route for you, yes, and then you're going to be like, "Oh saying. man, now I'm stuck on the yep. 110, and uh, I want to kill myself." That's what I tell people. I'm like, man, if you don't yeah. vote, somebody will vote yeah. for you. Exactly, mm -hmm. they so will definitely choose. vote for you. And people go, "It's the lesser of two evils." Well, why not choose the lesser of two exactly. evils? Yes. Who are you that you don't choose the? It's like, like choosing man. between being shot and being stabbed. I will. Yes. Choose yes. being stabbed. Right. <laughs> right. The likelihood Boy, that you don't now, want see the me choice. Person, I probably get, choose getting shot, but. Oh. You choose getting yeah. shot? Yes. Yeah, you talking about to no. death? Oh, no. Oh, no, you no, no. Faster, they, just right? shoot, they just shoot or, or, oh, or okay. stab. Right. Well, they didn't I, say to death. Okay, well, can dying I take my dying. ballot back? Yeah, you can take it. <laughs> okay, I'll probably, yeah, probably go uh, stab for 200 then, Trevor Noah. Thank you so much. Now, you were born in Johannesburg, South Africa? I was, yes. I heard that, man. Did it seem like, did you know that one day, you were going to come to the States? Or? I, know, I, I never thought it was possible. I was the first in my family to, to board an airplane. I was the first in my family to buy a new car, a house. I was the first in my family. Wow. So I never dreamed of the things that I've been able to achieve now. You know, I've been lifted onto the, the shoulders of generations of people in my family who have strived to be better. But I never dreamed that I would be here. America was a, was a, a distant reality. It's something I saw on TV. Mm -hmm. I, I never dreamed that I would be in this place. So... So I, I, I always lived within the world I was in. I often say that to kids now that I, that I talk with and I, I say to them, sometimes I, I don't wish people, you know, aim for their dreams. You know, when people go like, reach for your dreams. I go like, yeah, sometimes your dreams are as limited by the information that you have. Mm -hmm. Correct. And so, you know, like when I, I'll chat to kids in Harlem, for instance, who've never even been to Times Square. And then you, you talk to that kid, you go, what's your dream? And he goes, man, my dream is to is to have a chain. My dream is to have a dope ride. My dream, And you go like, is your dream to maybe go somewhere? And they're like, go where? Mm. And if they don't know that the place exists, how can they dream of achieving it? So right. 
You know, I, I, I realize that I'm living beyond my dreams now, which is a space I think most people should try to get to. And they, is most wow. of your family still in South Africa? Yeah, all of my family. Oh, and your oh, mom yeah. too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my family, my mom has no, she does not wish to travel at all. Oh, she's I like, no. Did, no. Has she ever come and seen you here? No. Does really? she know what no. a success and a phenomenon Trevor Noah, her son, is here? My mom doesn't care for any of those things. Oh. Fame, oh. celebrity. My mom goes, can you pay the rent? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I pay the rent. I bought do, the place. You know, <laughs> you know, can you pay the rent? Do, do you make people's lives better when you do what you do? Then you are success. Do you ever son. make wow. it home to South Africa? Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. When four was the last four time or five times a year. Damn. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's good. I heard yeah, that. I, I go back regularly. Like you never left. Yeah. No, I, I try. I pop in all the time. My family like 15 miles from here. And it's hard <laughs> as hell to get over there. <laughs> four, oh, my God. Time. Four, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, damn. I can't. Then when I do come I'm by, busy. it's really expensive. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not getting there is getting out of there. Like, okay, what you need? What you need? What you need? All right, here you go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the one you want, huh? Wow. 2017, huh? I ain't even got that. So you do get a chance to kind of make it back home. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 get, I get home as much as I can. Uh, it, helps me, it helps me remember. It helps me appreciate. Um, and it helps people, you know, just it helps my family and myself just be in touch. There's in no touch. one, Trevor, that's in Africa that's like... That's my cousin, or that's my brother, or oh, you mean people popping out of the woodwork, the, or not even out the woodwork, just like real relatives, like man, like this dude is living the life out there. No, you know what? I guess I always knew my relatives, so I was lucky. No one, okay, no one popped up. No okay. one, you know. What about now that you're in the states? Anybody pop up? Like, hey, man, hold I've, on, I've had a few in the U.S. that yeah. have been like, I, I don't know if you, you know, I went to school with Trevor. In a, in a little uh, primary school in Compton, we went, and I'm like, I, I don't know if you know where I was born. Right, yeah. Right, right. Unless you're talking about Compton, South Africa. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But I've, I've had people, I've had people send, like, high school uh, yearbook photos, and they'd be like, I don't know if you remember, we went to school together. I'm like, do you know nothing about this? Right. <laughs> just be some other brother with an uh, afro, like, yeah. Aww. They just find see, any dude see, who looks like his name wasn't me. even Trevor Noah back then. Back then, his name was Kenny Jones. That's what people say. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You know? Then he came to Hollywood, and, That's you know, they switched say. his name up, you know what I'm saying? So, have you? Do you go back and do any any comedy or do any stand up in South Africa? Yes, yeah, I still do. I still do. I do stand up all over the world. I'll uh, I'll fly to Dubai for a weekend Damn. and do stand up. Wow. I, I do Damn. Abu Dhabi recently. I'll do you know L A. I'm going to Hawaii tomorrow. I uh, yeah, anywhere I can go, anytime I will go and do stand up. Damn, it's only a flight away. Take us if with you. If you can sit I in the traffic this. in L A. <laughs> right, you can go anywhere in the world. That's true. Well, there is a difference. Oh, yes, between a huge difference sitting in traffic where I kind of own the car <laughs> and. Going anywhere in the world, like yeah. you know, it's kind of expensive to go to Dubai. Right? It's not <laughs> as expensive as people think. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Is it over three hundred? When you when you are traveling, is it the over three hundred dollars? You'll find deals for like one hundred and fifty dollars. Ah, you to got places. me on that. Damn, I was. I show wish you would have said no. It's going to be more than that. But. <laughs> it's Spirit Dubai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm on Spirit Dubai for real. <laughs> you might not like, make it there. Like, yes, yeah, uh, sir. Uh, we got you here. Do you want a back to your seat? I guess. <laughs> 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 it's a crate. A back? Yeah, you sitting on a crate. Still got milk under it. Like, at least you got there. Is that, that not is what's true. important? That is not really. You, no, I would fly. Sometimes. I would fly on an airline with crates if it was cheaper. I would take it. That's how we used to. Trevor that's how we used to Noah, travel. Our you buses don't have to do that. Our now. buses in South Africa and our like our taxis. We, we we call them taxis, but I mean they're like mini buses. Yeah. Some of them didn't have seats. As a kid, we had to ride on like the. It was like the engine. That's where all the kids sat. And Damn. so you would sit hot. there, and then your ass would get real hot. <laughs> yes, it's a hot like place. it would get burnt, and then you. But that's that's come Normal. on, man. As long as you get where you go. But going. you know what? I know now, and you don't go back and be like, "Oh, let me sit on the engine. Let me sit on the engine." No, I, I, I can't though. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm an adult. Uh, Only kids sit on the engine. Oh, come on, big this boy. This dude is quick, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is quick. I'm gonna catch him. Trevor, you got a lot of press after you interviewed Tommy, oh. mm -hmm. and. Have you spoken to her since she got let go from the Blaze? No, I haven't. Do you think that? She was in the wrong for voicing her opinion when it came to pro-choice and pro-life. I, I don't think anyone is in the wrong for voicing their yeah. opinions. And then getting fired for it, though? People can have the wrong opinions, but there's, there's nothing wrong with voicing your opinion, if that makes sense. You know, um, I think I think it was it was interesting. And this is this is where you, you realize the hypocrisy of the world we live in. Oh. So basically, you have someone who is working at a uh, at a TV station of some sort where week in and week out, they preached how sensitive you know, people of color were, how sensitive women were, how sensitive right. liberals were. They kept on preaching about this, saying, oh, freedom of speech, and, you, you know, you shouldn't shut down people who... And then she goes out, she says something that her people don't agree with, and all of a sudden, what do they do? <laughs> they shut her down, they shut her out, they fire her, and then you go, as you can see, we're all human beings, we all have feelings, yeah. we all have emotions. Mm -hmm. So when you discount another human being's emotions or feelings and chalk it up to some, like, higher level of being sensitive... You, you're discounting the fact that we all do the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. So 
I was just like in that moment. I was like, oh, that, that's that's hypocrisy. It just it mm. hits you in the face. It does. I think I feel like you see it a lot sometimes when people will so quickly um, judge one person's actions, but you've seen them like yeah, f- like. Interesting enough, like I day um, had someone leave the most racist oh, yeah. <laughs> comment I've ever seen on her Instagram, and really? I, it took me everything for me to not compare them. How to How long Hitler. ago was this? It over was the weekend. Over the weekend. On Friday night. Are you serious? But yeah. the things he said, like my comment back to him, wanted to be was, "It was so funny because Hitler said the same thing at one point, and we all know he's a disgusting human. He was a disgusting human being, and it was just like it's crazy how some people." can so quickly call out one person and say, you're racist, but then yet say some, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's... Yep, yep. Damn. It was crazy. Like, I I literally, I woke up and I was like, what is going on on my yeah. Instagram right now? Like, people were going at it and... It was- now, Trump is in there. And Trump didn't wait. We didn't have to worry what the fuck Trump was finna do. Trump got on that shit immediately. <laughs> Day one, Trump was on his shit. He announced his motherfucking cabinet. It was... Hitler, Satan, Darth Vader. God damn, Trump. What the fuck is you trying to do? He showed up with stormtroopers and shit. Dun, 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 dun. Trump don't give a fuck. Trump don't follow nobody's rules. The president is supposed to be at the White House. Our president is wherever the fuck he want to be. <laughs> he in New York, he in the South, playing golf. Our president don't give a fuck. They used to say, will your president be awake at 3 o'clock in the morning to answer the phone? If it rings, shit, chair, yeah, our president is up. Our president is a vampire. That motherfucker sent 23 tweets at 12.30. What the fuck is you talking about? That motherfucker is on it. If they had a nice, sensible president. Now we finna see what America is like with a motherfucking bully in that bitch. (laughs) Trump don't give a fuck. (laughs) The president's supposed to think of something, then talk about it with the Senate and the Congress, pass a bill, and then do it. Trump don't give a fuck. Trump sent all 50 missiles to Syria while he was in his bathroom with an Xbox One controller. (laughs) See what they say when they see that shit. (laughs) Trump don't give a fuck. That motherfucker is on it, whatever the fuck it is. Barack Obama was in office eight years, he did eight things. He was in office eight years, he did eight things. Trump been in office a hundred days, he done done a hundred fucked up things. Every time he wake up, he just signed another fucked up piece of paper. Wait till they see this when they wake the fuck up since they wanna talk. Trump do not sleep. He don't play by no rules. He don't care what the rule, history month, he don't even know which niggas is which. <laughs> he thought Ben Carson was Frederick Douglass. <laughs> Some of y'all don't even believe me. He looked right at Ben Carson. He said that Frederick Douglass has been doing a great job. He's been getting more and more recognition every day. He looked right at Amorosa and said that Harriet Tubman has been doing a great job out there in the community as well. fucked up. It's getting dangerous out there. As black people, minorities, we used to just being able to watch the news a little bit and then walk off. Not with Trump. Niggas is watching the news like it's the playoffs. (laughs) Did they say anything about niggas yet? We got one more day then, one more day. Hispanic people, since y'all in here, I'm gonna let y'all know. Black people is y'all's friends. If they come after y'all, they got to come after us. And I can say that because we know if they start coming after y'all, we next anyway. 
Don't worry, Hispanic people. We will open up that Underground Railroad so quick. We got the blueprints. Black people, we got enough problems in America. We don't need no more problems. We know once they start coming for Hispanics, it's gonna be a bunch of light-skinned niggas stuck at the border. <laughs> niggas just saying, I'm not supposed to be here! I don't even speak Spanish. <laughs> Trump in office, we don't know what the fuck may happen next. We thought he was gonna be a war right away. We was like, we can't figure out who gonna catch it first. Is it gonna be Russia? Is it gonna be China, Syria, Iran, Iraq, North Korea? Who the fuck is finna get? <laughs> Find out. Public enemy number one is Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Kathy Griffin? <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> fuck out of here. Fucking humor. What the fuck? You the president now. You can't take a joke, motherfucker. You. Announce your presidency on Comedy Central, motherfucker, after a roast. It's fucked up. But I tried to tell people on the last tour, it was called Conspiracy Theory. I tried to tell people what the fuck was finna happen, and it done fucked around and happened. <laughs> we said Trump had a chance because he was exciting and America loves excitement. And Trump been saying exciting shit the whole time. He say shit you ain't never heard nobody say ever. Trump said, we are gonna build a wall and we gonna make Mexico pay for it. <laughs> Black people all over the world went, Mexico? <laughs> what type of Mexicans does he know? He must not know no essays or no vatos. <laughs> you ain't finna make them niggas do shit. <laughs> well, why the fuck is we talking about building a motherfucking wall and the Mexican people have shown us they are professional at building a tunnel on your motherfucking ass. <laughs> they broke El Chapo out while they was looking at him. We are... They showed that tunnel. That tunnel was as big as this goddamn stage. Had hardwood floors, linoleum, verba carpet in. Central air conditioning, vending machines. They picked them up in a little golf cart and took them to a burrow. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why the fuck Trump was talking about immigration in the first motherfucking place. His motherfucking bitch ain't from here. <laughs> she from somewhere else. She from Cat Schnatterstand. White people don't look like that. Y'all need to go check on that white woman. Every time you look at her, she look like a hostage in the interview. She Someone please help me. I'm not supposed to be here. This is not what I signed up for. I said right then, I said, okay, Trump ain't gonna say no more shit that throw me off guard. Then Trump said the shit that shocked the world. You was watching the news, had your breakfast blunt, and it scared you and your breakfast blunt. <laughs> Trump said, grab him by the pussy. <laughs> We've been shaking bitches' hands and hugging and shit. Trump don't give a fuck. And you can tell he really be grabbing bitches by the pussy, too. Because if you watch the news, Melania will not grab that motherfucker's hand for nothing. Every time she grabs, she grabs for his hand, she do karate. I know where you're. Something is killing me slowly And I'm feeling so lonely But this thing I must to talk oh. Yeah, yeah 
All my people there for push oh. And our children now they go for school oh. But nobody fit to talk oh. We get it plenty so many things Where we really won't complain to you See these people where they kill us Are the people where they get for protect we yeah. Our children there for prison Our leaders there for prison Now they call it for dialogue Now who and who go talk oh. 